Question 14 takes a bit of thinking. It starts at 10 and goes down and then hits the ground here. So this is bounce one. And after bounce one, it comes up to seven, cent seven meters. And then it hits the ground at bounce two. So let's think about this. After bounce one, it's at seven meters. After bounce two, it's at seven times by 0 0.7. After bounce three, it's seven times by 0 0.7 squared. And after bounce four, this is one we want, seven times 0 0.7 cubed. Tapping that in gives me two point, um, sorry, just checking that, 2.401 meters. Might say centimeters on yours. Um, so that's how high it is after the fourth bounce. After the fifth bounce, it will be 7.07 to the power of four. And then it hits the ground for the sixth bounce. Now, what we want to do is add up all of these. But of course, going up and going down, we're going to need to times it by two as well. So the sequence we're adding up has got a first term of seven, a ratio of 0 0.7, and I want five of them. So this is a one minus r to the power of n all over one minus r. So that's that bit. But we need to times that by two because it goes up and down. And this will only give us that one and that bit and that bit and that bit and that bit. That's giving us those. We've also got to add that 10 on from the beginning. Just check that. One, two, three, four, five hits the ground for the sixth time. So it's all about that little bit of thinking. Um, once you've thought it through, just tap that into the calculator. That works out to be 48.82.